What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends What If Disney Plus series Watch or Build a Figure Waves Heist Nebula. Should I get your Marvel Legends? You can do so. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dorkside Toys is a store for you. Link below. Right down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to make sure my videos pop up in your feed. And this is a pretty cool concept over here. I liked the nebula, I gotta say, on the side. Nice image of nebula. And then on the back, you can see nebula again. There's the other figures from the wave. And there's the read up over here. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Then we get nebula a third time. And then you get the Watcher logo spot varnish on the very top. Not much more at the very bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> Here's Nebula out of the packaging, and I'm actually really not that excited for the figure. It's mostly a repaint, but we get a new head sculpt over here and a few accessories. So let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at the figure. So we get the Build-A-Figure pieces, which is like the weirdest combination of Build-A-Figure parts I've actually ever seen. Yeah, four different little Build-A-Figure pieces over here. But anyway, you get these two sets of interchangeable hands. Well, a set of gun-holding hands. The left side has a horizontal hinge. The right side has a vertical hinge, and then we get vertical hinges on this left fist and this open hand that we're all kind of tired of and a new gun which looks cool i don't remember seeing this before but yeah looks all right very kind of like comic booky version gun so pretty neat fits into the hands okay uh, getting the f trigger finger on the left side which is the hand i like to use the most can be a little bit tricky but you know it works and we also get a holster on her right hip over here which works perfectly with this gun so just port in there and now it's all holstered <laughs> So I gotta say that Nebula was one of my favorite characters from the second episode of the What If series. I like what they did with the character and I think this design is very cool. It reminds me of comic book Nebula. I feel like this is the closest to a comic book Nebula that we'll see in the MCU. And for a Nebula head comparison, you could see the film version. This is the Guardians 2 version right here. So still very much looks like Karen Gillan, you know, and I think she's an amazing actress. Her voice acting is just fantastic. She did not sound the same. And then this looks really good. I do like the paint right here for the mouth i feel like the eye is a little bit heavy with the eyeliner though there's like just too much going on around there can't really see much of the eye but it's now they did this interesting thing with the eye hold on a second yeah that's really a little white speck they put in there just for reflection because she has pitch black eyes so yeah i thought that was a cool nice little touch and there's a little bit of darker blue over on the cheek so i think that's a neat little touch as well hair looks really good i like the sculpt of it you know it's all swafting and swafting and wafting all over the place really tricky to pick up on camera but there is a color variation throughout the hair so it does have subtle highlights especially when you look at the top very very subtle because it's such a light blonde color as far as the rest of the figure we do get a new upper torso it's not exactly the same as the movie version and the lower torso and everything else except for the left arm is the same oh well, i guess the right arm so yeah same old arms that we've seen with kate bishop body mold figures and then we get this new holster piece right here not a whole lot of paint going on tons of sculpted detail but that's just due to it being reused from an mcu figure here uh, it's definitely a lot more bland on this new piece right over here so it's not really that interesting looking it doesn't really fit in well with the t'challa figure even though they're from the same episode because this guy's all super smooth with very little details and this one's covered in details which i normally like but in the what if series there's just not as much details going around anyway you get the peg hole still and uh, there's the back so i'm going to do a partial articulation segment because we have new stuff there and new stuff there so the head can move up just that much we do have a dumbbell joint right there for the neck just a tiniest bit it'll look up she'll look down that far turn side to side pretty smoothly and a little bit of head pivoting and then with this new torso piece it will still turn side to side at the diaphragm pivot move forward back and there's a tiny little bit of gappage now to measure out this figure you can see that nebula is standing just under the six and a half inch mark and then for a size comparison you can see the what if nebula next to the infinity war thanos and i have so many of these thanos figures i may get one customized to look like a ravager thanos and by the way 
I liked the relationship between these two in the episode. I mean, she saved his life. Throughout the MCU, we see her want to kill Thanos. It's kind of interesting to see her save Thanos. Then for a Nebula comparison, you can see that we have our What If Nebula, then we have our Guardians 2 Nebula, and I want to see a head swap. Oh no, the ball pegs don't match, but you could rest this one right on there. That doesn't look bad. Wow, the stem for the dumbbell joint is really thin, and the head will pop on there. Wow, that looks weird. Yeah, a little long and everything, but I guess if you really wanted to make this work, you could make it work. And then here's Nebula next to all the other What If figures that I've already reviewed. We have the Captain Carter, we have the T'Challa Star-Lord, and we have the Deluxe Hydra Stomper. And then here's Nebula, next to your average six-inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, you know what I was always wondering? What if Nebula hooked up with Spider-Man? Huh? 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 So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. It really does help people when they hit that notification bell. I found out yesterday. But anyway, big thanks also to all the people that support this content via the Tron. If you're in a position to do so, check it out. Link in the description below. This Nebula figure is not my favorite figure. I'm, it's not a figure that I was really looking forward to and I'm not that thrilled about it. I love like the new head sculpt, don't get me wrong, and I think the paint apps for the head sculpt look great and everything, so for that, I dig it. We get a new upper torso piece, that doesn't look bad either, it flows well with the rest of the figure for the most part, but at the same time, not really too thrilled about having the figure. Maybe if I had a Ravager Thanos to go along with it, I would like it more, but really, it's a repainted figure that I just don't have a strong need for in the collection or anything. I might get a what if display for that. I would like it, but at the same time, I'm not interested in having that kind of display. So at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm going to give this Nebula figure a sun rating of... I'll wait for the Black Friday sale. I'm just not that stoked for this figure. I don't know what else to tell you, but I'd like to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. I'm going to try to get another Marvel Legends review coming up later today. Then a Carnage review set up for Saturday. So stay tuned for that, and I will catch you guys later. And thanks for watching. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.